but the green version it looks like dragon tails or something <laughs> dragon tails dragon tail uh, okay that's all I'm a, I'm a dragon tails what's going on everybody it's your boy big down skills bringing you another video and we are finally wrapping up the series today of the 151 gen 1 sprites we even got a few bonuses at the end now as this series is wrapping up i'll be looking for more ideas to continue whether it's with pokemon or with other things let me know in the comment section below some things you'd like to see from me going forward with this channel. But once again, I appreciate y'all and let's get it rolling. Starting off with Porygon, one of the most unique Pokemon of all time. Even had its controversies in the show. <laughs> People were having seizures from one of the episodes that it was in. And I like, I always thought it looked really cool in game. This is one of the few sprites where when I look at that red and blue version, I remember it looking a little bit better in game. And when I see the green version, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool too. That reminds me of the Porygon that we're used to seeing, right? I like both of these for their own different reasons. They're both meant to be, they look like Tesla Cybertrucks. <laughs> and so I'm gonna give this one a draw. I, I really like both of the designs. Almanite, wow. Talk about a name that you never hear. Um, it is a interesting Pokemon and its design is relatively simple between these two. The difference being the pose, right? The eyes and the shell are exactly the same. It's just that the pose is a little bit different. I like how the, <laughs> the red and blue version is a little bit more mighty. I don't know if that's this Pokemon's personality per se, but I like the pose regardless. I would give this one to red and blue. Green's just fine but Red just has a dynamic pose. Almastar. So another really underrated Pokemon in my opinion. I told you earlier how I like Vaporeon. Almastar was on my original red and blue team. I had like two or three water types, okay? Don't judge me, I was like eight. <laughs> but once again, this is pretty much the same exact thing. The shell's exactly the same. It's just the different poses. And honestly, Damn, this Pokemon's kind of fugly. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a weird-looking Pokemon. Despite all the things I've said about it, I think this is pretty much a draw. Looks like it's gonna hug you in the green version. In the red version, it looks like it's just gonna wave at you. <laughs> this is pretty much the same thing to me. I'm gonna give this one a draw. Kabuto, Kabuto, Kabuto. Wow. So a lot different. The sprite that we saw in the red and blue version is more of an overhead view of the top of its shell and i really like it you know i don't think that's its actual eyes correct me if i'm wrong what, what's on the top of it I, I forget how these creatures work in real life but i really like that green version because you could just see the eyes shining from the darkness that's underneath its shell so I'm gonna give this one to the green version, but there is something a little cutesy and, and funny about that red and blue version. Kabutops, easily red and blue version. There's not even a thought. The, the green version is just off. Uh, the proportions are all messed up. It, it just, it looks poorly drawn. So this one easily goes to the red and blue. The scythes are dope. He's got one raised high, the other lower, and he's menacing, he's coming towards you. It almost reminds me of how the monsters look in like the Dragon Quest series. A lot of their poses are more front facing like this one. This would really fit in Dragon Quest. Wow, Aerodactyl. This is a really good one right here. That green version is really nice. That's a really good looking, I mean, first take at it, right? And then the red and blue version, it's more of soaring towards you. This one's definitely got to get, I'd give this one a draw. And I wouldn't even argue if someone said they like the green version better because it's like, it's just well done. I mean, there's really nothing to it. It's a very well done sprite. Aerodactyl's a really cool Pokemon too, having the arrow blast and it being extremely fast. So the fossil Pokemon are really cool additions in the, in the Gen 1 and just Pokemon in general. I guess on the draw. Oh man, Snorlax, dude. <laughs> I love Snorlax. Snorlax is one of the coolest Pokemon ever. Just the being a fat, lazy Pokemon that just wants to sleep. But when it actually gets up and throws hands with you, it's super fast. Like, Snorlax is actually pretty fast. So, you know, I thought the green version was what it looked like when I played it growing up, but I guess not. But the red and blue looks great. It's just, it's more angled, 
right? The green pose is more iconic, right? That also kind of reminds me of how the Dragon Quest monsters are. They're more front facing. I like both of these. These definitely deserve a draw. They really show Snorlax's laziness. Just a big fat cat pretty much just kicking back, you know? I, I like it. All right, we go into the legendaries, all right? We have Articuno starting it off. And I think Articuno's terrible. I don't think this looks good at all. The head on the green version just looks really goofy. It doesn't fit the proportions of the rest of the body. And then the red and blue version, I just think they hadn't finalized what they wanted Articuno to look like yet. I just, it just looks very beta and like generic, right? Like it just looks like something that came from the beta. I don't like these both at all. I'm gonna give this one overall an L. I don't do that much in this series, but no go for Articuno. Zapdos, Zapdos looks a lot better, okay? And it's probably the coolest design out of the three birds. Articuno eventually looked a lot better, especially once the show and then the movies came around. But Zapdos was always the cool kid, all right? And these both look pretty similar, right? Almost the same exact pose. The red and blue version slightly turned more and its mouth is open. And due to the nature of everything on Zapdos being spiky, it can be a little hard to like differentiate between what you're looking at. But I would definitely give this one a draw because honestly, the green was good enough. It didn't even need to be changed. But the red and blue version is just as good. Moltres. You can tell, like I said, in these early ones, they really, I don't think they knew what the finalized design of what these legendaries were going to be. The green version just doesn't look good at all. It just looks weird. It looks fan made. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look good in my opinion. The red and blue version, without applying a bias in my head, it looks cool, but it still looks off at the same time. And I can't really say what it is about the, about Motrus. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't quite hit like Zapdos. Zapdos is just the coolest one. This one's okay overall. I would give it to red and blue because the pose is a lot better and the, the, the details I like a lot more, but still kind of iffy for me. Dratini. It's interesting how we're getting into this last like 10 or 15 Pokemon. And oddly enough, you've seen a, a kind of a decline in quality for a lot of these, which is odd. Dratini. I don't even remember this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do not remember Dratini sprite design at all from gen one he's so late in the game and then you you know you know about dragonite so you're just trying to rush and get dragonite i don't these are both okay and i would give them a draw maybe a slight edge to green but i don't i don't really care for this so y'all have to let me know in the comment section below which one you like better between the dratini it just doesn't do anything for me you know we move on again to Dragonair. Why Why is we are coming to the conclusion of this series that we're, we're seeing, I, I feel so negative right now. I'm not liking, I don't, I haven't liked these last like five or six. They've been very disappointing to me. Uh, Dragonair looks okay. It's a little hard to tell what I'm looking at. And it just, I don't know, it's such a cool Pokemon. I think it's an underrated like design, even for it being like a dragon snake. I'll give this one to red and blue. Barely, but not convincingly. 149 Dragon Knight. Man, I remember thinking like, oh, this is really cool. And then once I actually saw the TV show and saw how Dragon Knight actually looked, I was like, uh, not really, not really too fond of this design. I like the dynamic pose of the red and blue version, right? How it's flying and it's confident, right? But the green version, it looks like Dragon Tails or something. <laughs> dragon Tails, Dragon Tail. Uh, okay, that's all. I'm a, I'm a Dragon Tails. Yeah, I, I'm i gonna get this one the red and blue, but I'm being honest with y'all, I'm not feeling this. This is 149, Mewtwo better make up for this, but 150, he better make up for this. Okay, Mewtwo made up for this, dude. I love the gangsta pose that he has in the red and blue version where he's just like, I'm gonna you up, I'm gonna beat you up. I've always liked that. I, I, I thought that was super cool. But the green version, 
is more signature Mewtwo. These are both great. This is how you go out with a bang because the last seven or eight have been straight Gulag design, all right? This is amazing. Mewtwo, definitely one of the best looking sprites in the game and they knew that they had to do that with this Pokemon. Looks great, both designs absolutely menacing you know that you have the strongest pokemon in the game when you look at mewtwo he just he just says that he is oh yeah you thought this was over but now we got mew still we still got mew the last of the 151 before the few bonuses that we got for y'all but mew uh, like it was so anticlimactic like we had all these rumors growing up about what mew looked like you know how to get Mew. If you go to the if you go to the truck in Pallet Town, if you do this, if you do that, like <clears throat> we had all these rumors. That green version looks like something out of Goosebumps, bro. It looks it looks it looks I can't say it. This looks terrible. The red and blue versions, it's fine, but it it's it's I don't I just I'm gonna get this one the red and blue but not convincing again. I'm a little upset for 151, all right? Don't go anywhere, bonus time. We got a couple bonuses here. Kabutops Fossil. There's actually different versions of the fossil. I'm going to say, to be quick with this one, once again, the red and blue wins, cause just like the original Kabutops, whoo, dynamic pose. But the green version looks a lot better than the original Kabutops green did. Aerodactyl Fossil. I like both of these. I think these are both pretty good designs. They match the original Pokemon, like I said. The green version may honestly be slightly cooler to me, but I think these both deserve it. I'll give it a draw. I approve, I approve. There's even four types of ghosts. Isn't that crazy? This is a clear draw. The only difference is the, the color and the shading's a little bit different. Nothing to talk about here for this one. And then last but not least, y'all, the goat right here. This is the best design in the whole game, bro. The best design in the whole game is Missing Goal. The best glitch in all of gaming history is the Missing Goal glitch. The best glitch of all time is the Missing Goal glitch. Just know that. And with that, this series is over, y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with your boy, Don. I was happy to wrap this series up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And once again, if you want to see me do more stuff, drop it in the comment section below. Give me some suggestions, and I would love to do more things and add more content. But I hope y'all enjoyed things, and I'll talk to y'all soon, y'all. Deuces. Peace out.